We got Vegeta with the brand new Godly Platinum Equip that's exclusive to Yellow Super Saiyan Blue characters. This is going to be really, really cool. Yellow Super Saiyan Blue characters is not the right qualifier, excuse me. Super Saiyan Blues from the Universe Survival Saga. However, if they're yellow, they also get that bonus. So it's really yellow characters. You get the point. You know, I don't really know what the idea is with these, where they're giving these, like, pseudo-platinum equips to these uh, Ultra characters. So, like, Ultra Kaioken obviously can use this. This Vegeta can use it also because he fits the exact same criteria. But Broly kind of got one of these pseudo-platinum equips. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. But... Let's take a look at Vegeta. -sama. So Vegeta, for my testing, I just want to say Vegeta got a lot better. His damage is a lot better, but I do think that the equip doesn't really change a ton. Like it, it doesn't all of a sudden, um, you know, make him better than some of his competitors on this team, things like that. But I do think that Vegeta is a character you can use successfully, and I, I guess that's all that really matters, right? He does still have a lot of things on the margins that are really, really good, like his revive disruption, of course, that's solid. I also really like Vegeta having that blue card neutrality. That's really, really solid. And um, it's it's interesting when characters, and this is obviously a lot more relevant now on like transforming slash tag characters that are LFs. It's always really funny when they have like the cover change into the nullify endurance or nullify elements like this guy's doing. Those types of things are extremely strong, right? Also, it's really funny when you get the cover change into it endurance nullification lf those are hilarious anyway anyway side note so i do like that vegeta also seals there but he's got a wonky play style right because when in the video i did the same style of video for kyle ken if you haven't seen it check it out in the video i did for kyle ken one thing i talked about was that you know kyle ken has uh you basically need to know how to use kyle ken's gauge how to use it how to time it how to try time your charges it does take practice you also are better off knowing how to charge step with kyle ken and that works out pretty well. Well, this guy doesn't have a gauge, but he also doesn't really want to charge step. Why? Because you can, I mean, you can do it. But what happens is when you start doing all of that, you mess up his own uh, key based ratios because he has that effect where he gains the key back if he hits a certain threshold. So applies the falling effects itself. If own key is 40 or lower after using an arts card, he gets 20 and he gets damage. Well, you don't want to, you don't want to miss out on that damage particularly, right? So that's kind of where things are kind of weird. Like you're better off just doing the flat side steps with this guy more often than not. So there's that. Also, if you ever go up against like a Pycon or Piccolo, taking two Dragon Balls off is pretty crazy. I think I played one. I don't know if that was in this video or not, but I had a hell of a time. I don't think I could beat the Piccolo or Pycon, whatever character it was, because obviously the team was really good. The player was good. I don't know that. And I lost that game. I don't know that I got that effect to activate. Anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah, there's that. I don't love this though, where you get the main ability never nullify cover change here. I don't believe he picks it up anywhere else, which is actually a, a very bad thing for a combo dependent character like this guy, because he gets the extra key, he force draws a card here, he gets extra damage here, he gets extra cut and, and also health, that's cool too, right? Um, also, he picks up, he and his allies, in fact, get the blue card and ultimate damage up as well for 30 counts. Like, he gets all that there. But down here, he gets 90% damage, some cut. We talked about that other effect. We talked about the revive disruption. Also, when he cover changes, he destroys one of your cards and forces a blue into your hand once. That's really solid. Also, 20% on the cut, knocked back into blue card. Applies the bowling effects itself when the enemy switches while he's out there. He draws a card and gets more damage. So, if he is pounding them into the ground and they are forced to switch he gets more damage and more advantage off of that applies falling effects to self according to the number of counts elapsed from the battle start draw speed and health and then down here every time this character defeats an enemy he restores vanishing gauge you may notice that on a character like ultra vegeto blue it's extremely strong it's a really really strong effect because it allows for him to stay in the battlefield and get the advantage but as you see he doesn't have nullify anywhere but the main and so, that means you need to be really, really selective with when you draw this. And so, I talked about how Kaioken, you know, had a little bit of a, And Kaioken has this same problem where they only have it on the main ability. Now, my problem with these is that, like, maybe I don't want the ultimate there. It's just that simple. Maybe I don't want it yet. But it's forcing you to draw it and use it, obviously. If you don't use it, then you just lose it, right? Um, so, maybe I don't want it there. So, uh, my favorite is just on the green card. If a character gets it on the green card, that's fine. So... Anyway, anyway, for a combo dependent character like this, what do you guys think? How do you feel about him? I think he's a lot better though, because I mean, the equip at the end of the day isn't really doing anything crazy. Also, quick note on this too, the key recovery bonus may not particularly be great for some of the same stuff I was talking about. I think it should be fine, but there may be times where you charge step and maybe it'll mess up your ratio one in every like 10 times or something like that. I don't know the actual math. All right, let's play some games.
So this one will be a little bit tricky. Um, let's see what we can do here. Okay, let's go for a blast. I'll take it, drift out. Oh my, mm, the Vegito switch was clutch, bro. The Vegito switch there, because he took my gauge off, was super clutch, bro. I didn't think he'd pull it that early, but <clears throat> he got advantage out of it, so I get it. All right, no worries, man, props. Oh, man, okay. <clears throat> the good news is 17 doesn't care. 17 is literally walling him up. All right, so we switch. Hopefully the combo ends with the debuffs. Tell me the combo is over. Oh, I was hoping it would be over there. He's going to refill his gauge if he get one more. Uh, oh, he had a blue card. Okay, I'll take that. Whatever. Going to do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Thank you, team. I really appreciate y'all. Green card? No. I'm wary of a green card from this guy. Ooh, I'm going to miss that. If I had got it, I would have been neutral on it. It would have done a lot of damage. Whoa, he went. Are you kidding? He went full screen on that. He went full screen on that. Okay. Okay. He went full screen strike. Good lord. Okay, I gotta be aggressive here. I've gotta generate something. Green? Okay, let me let me just play him per normal then. If he's not gonna bite on a green bait, then fine. Tap shot? Thank you. Dropped? There it is. Epic. I got exactly what I wanted. Zamasu switch? No. I'm not going to pull my main here because the Zamasu would just enter. Tackle, tackle, tackle. No, okay. Vegito, aha, uh -huh. okay, that's fine. No blue card, no blue card, no blue, no blue, 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 blue. Okay, whatever. If only I was one second, like, slower, I would have got the switch to 17. I'm going to use this strike. I don't want to do this, but I'm going to. I'm trying to get that creep. He has to have a green. There's no way this guy doesn't have one. Okay. Just switch to somebody else and use it then. How about that? Switch. No switch. I switched early. Now my Vegeta's gone because I'm stupid. Or. Or. Okay. He. Okay. 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 Thank you. Oh, nice. Okay. I thought he had like a blue card or something. Oh, that worked out. Nice. I'll take it. Let's switch back here. Okay. Like I said earlier, I've got to just play him for normal. Okay. So every time I play. Semi-normal, I can generate something. And then there's this guy's gauge I have to contend with. I'm just gonna take it off. Oh, or not. <laughs> I was just intentionally giving him the gauge. Okay, it's gonna pop here though. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we'll bring 17 on the blue. I think Vegeta might have lived it, but I didn't want to chance it. Yeah, I just intentionally took his gauge off. <laughs> Let's go! I got him! Okay, I've got to go here. I'd like to go to the Vegeta, but I have to just kind of stay here for a little bit. Or do I? I can go to Vegeta. I've got Nullifies here. Where this gets a little tricky is it's like, if I did one more sidestep, would I have got the card? Probably, right? Would I know? Would I be guaranteed? I don't know. That blue card seal is really annoying. Because I'm, I'm actually really wanting to use my blue. Because the neutral. Thank you. I can't see the icon for nullify cover change right now. Aha! Let's go! I got him! I couldn't see the icon if I still had nullifies or not. Ooh, he wasn't going to switch. Okay. Knock it off. Knock it off. What? <laughs> he got to use the barrier. <laughs> nice. We got him out of here. Nice. Nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. All of a sudden, this turned nasty in my favor after me being, like, completely behind the eight ball. I was hoping to get an advantage there. Okay, let's try this. There? There it is. Okay. He thought he had me. Woo! All right. So, I didn't get to use Vegeta too, too much. But we're going to keep on trying, guys. If you haven't already, smash that thumbs up, and let's play the next match.
All right, so the next match is a... I always like when I play a match, and it's like hella strong team or hella good or whatever, and then it's like, what am I looking at here? But even is this just a Saiyan team with Gohan the leader? I mean, it's like multiple things. Um, not to toot my own horn, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way, but I think some people need my, my team building guides, because I have no idea what this is even trying to accomplish. I genuinely don't. It's just like, put my best characters on one team. But I'm not being critical, because sometimes I play characters, or teams like that, and they're still absolutely really good, and the teams are hard to beat. <laughs> like on paper, look at that team. That's still a tough team to beat, right? Got some mixed typing going on with strike melee stuff going on, but whatever. Should still be really, really annoying. We'll see how this one goes. He matches up pretty good with me, actually, with the tag character, too. So, yeah, I believe the last guy had a good team. Maybe I'm giving the last player too much credit in terms of team comp. I don't know. Remind me. I don't remember. Yeah, no Vegito blue lead? No. No, exactly. No. Zero chance I'm going to let that happen. Zero chance. You're going to get him out of there early, huh? Oh, well, you got double red. That's fair. I'm not used to somebody using double red either. Okay, that's fair. I don't really mind, but it's fair. Insta switch. Okay, this guy's very aggressive, I see. Oh, crap, my finger slipped. Come on, lose it, lose it, lose it. Oh, of course not. Yeah, my finger slipped. I see this guy's pretty aggressive, though. He thought he was going to land that Vegito Blue uh, cheese play where you lead with Vegito. Wow, he took my endurance off already. That's very not good. <laughs> that's, that's very not good. I just lost a ton of value on my team. Vegito switch? Okay, I, I dropped just in case. I wasn't sure. He still switched again. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, yeah. I really got this now. Let's go for this blue here. It's going to hit really hard. But he healed it right back. <laughs> you couldn't even see the damage because he healed it right back, dude. That's comical. Good play. Good play. I thought he was going to actually stay with Vegito from mid-range and go from there, but he didn't. Wasted my ult, but I still got the value off the other main ability effects. Ooh, good drift. Good. I didn't expect the drift, dude. I did not at all expect the drift. That was a good drift. That was a really good drift. That's what I'm saying, dude. I got it because people will break out text I didn't expect. You know, things like that and catch me off guard, bro. Good lord. He switched to Vegito into death. <laughs> he switched him into death. <laughs> oh, I was about to use that, Gohan. I was literally about to use it. Targeted card destroy is so nasty, dude. So nasty. That's actually nasty work. Even nastier work than me underestimating, uh, underestimating my opponents, apparently. Good tag switch back, buddy. Okay, let's go ahead and flip here. Or not, because key don't, no key gain. Beautiful. It's not really surprising. I just remember that Vegeta kind of doesn't really want that key gain anyway. Oh, crap. I'm kind of screwed. Or am I? He's kind of screwed. He's kind of screwed. Kill him. God damn it. Didn't do enough damage. I was so oh, wow. Wow. I switched to get the, the gauge back, and he switched to any uh, transform. Excuse me. Invalidating my switch. Or actually did it? Maybe Jiren's gauge hadn't procced yet. That's kind of unfortunate. I'm not sure Jiren's gauge popped off yet. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. I'm not sure. Because the way it looked there was that... Go ahead and have, cause like Jiren's icon was there, but it looked like he hadn't completed the switching yet. All's well that ends well, right? So Gohan now has a strike base knockback, correct? Kinda lagged right there, hello? It's lagging, yeah. What the hell? What the hell where the hell did the lag come from? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Oh, now I'm getting close to winning and it starts lagging. Oh, it's one of those, huh? Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see if it... Okay, so it's back to full speed, so let's see if it does it again. This guy... God, I hate them. Super long combo. This guy also does no tech in terms of, like, charging or anything like that, which is actually not bad because your damage doesn't get tapered off. Like, the trade-off for getting more cards is you get... Uh, less damage overall, so that's part of the reason why I just kind of wait quickly here just to get the guaranteed kill, right? It did not lag again, by the way. So Vegeta should pop right here with a key gain. 
Oh, oh, the damage. Oh, if it was almost any other character, I wouldn't have got enough key there without a charge step to actually even use the blue. And it was like exactly enough. It was like 49 to 49. That's pretty epic. And the damage is awesome. What? It's a superhero. Almost. Almost. Super Who let bro in the house? Hold on. I gotta, I'm gotta. i doing this live in the video. I haven't used this screen in a while because if you've noticed, I've been kind of just showing my full info and not really caring. Uh, let me hold on. Hold on. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where is it at? Who let this MF in there? Okay, whatever. The, just keep the jank version. I was gonna, I was gonna zoom it in, but I can't. I don't got the time for that. Who let him in? And why has he got those equips on Piccolo? Piccolo is not that. He is actually really good. Do not sleep on the homie Piccolo. Super Saiyan nothing. Oh, go tanks, my guy. Fancy me, you. I'm gonna go for this mid range. Let's see the lands. Oh no, it did. I'm not really surprised. It's okay. It was a risk, one that I was willing to take. I was willing to take. Another blast card, but no advice. Darn you, Goku. Should I do another Legends ASMR? <laughs> Should I do it? I kind of want to do another one. It sounds fun. I did one one time. Search it up. Dragon Ball Legends ASMR. I, I kind of want to do another one. <laughs> Dude, 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 I've done so many crazy videos. <laughs> okay, I gotta take this match serious. Oh my god, dude. Nice quick dash, buddy, but I wasn't falling for that. It was gonna be a strike. This one's gonna be a blast. Nice. Ah, uh, but nullified. One of the rare times he actually nullifies. I'm all over the place. Ooh, nice blue card, but, you know, I heal, so whatever. Go for a blast in the continuation of that. Of course, of course, he went full screen with the blast armor. Of course. Strike, nullified, yep. But at least he's doing no damage. I'm gonna click this blue, no, okay. I tried to click the blue so Jiren would switch out, but it's okay. Vegeta took no damage. This Goku's damage is not very good, apparently. Wonder if he has the equip on. <clears throat> he doesn't do anything fancy other than just damage, right? Or like his gauge manipulation, right? So you can't really tell from third party. Okay, I'm gonna throw this blue here. Get it out of my hand, that's fine. Oh, it landed. Oh, he didn't he didn't have enough gauge when I looked and then I guess the damage from that gave him the gauge to transform and take my gauge off Can I do this really quick? Nice 17's vanish restore is pretty epic right there Go on nullifies the Jiren so bad. Oh good play man. Good play. Good play Yeah, go on AOE nullification is so obnoxious So obnoxious The green card destroyed there is also really obnoxious That's also really obnoxious. I have no cards. Should I have used this here? No, I should not have. The main ability should not have been pulled there. I didn't need it. You don't want to do it if you don't have a full hand. Or relatively close to a full hand. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Nullify. Can I get this? Oh, I didn't drop properly. Oh, I didn't do it long enough. Oh my god, I was ready to rush him. <laughs> he took the pain. <laughs> that was absolute pain. And I'm neutral. Oh, he's totally dead if it goes through. Oh my god! <laughs> he took the bait! Wow, I was just about to use that! I hate the Gohan green. Destroy, man. This guy's an absolute hater. Gohan is a hater, bro. Crap. Got him. Had to work pretty hard for that one. This is a good situation with Vegeta. Switch to Gotenks soon, right? I know you are. This is where the the main ability would have... Yeah, the main ability should have been here. Damn it, I did it so early, man. I like how Gohan looks at the punch to his gut. That's so epic. 
absolute boss move on that cover change. So epic. Jiren is clearly keeping him in check in terms of using his rush. This guy doesn't want to rush me. Perfect vanish here. Goodbye! <laughs> the good news is Goten can't really do much there. Maybe he can turn it into a rush, but there's not a lot of options there. You don't have Nullify anymore. He doesn't say you've entered too many times. Right, I wish I had a blue here. Okay, I was going to get out of that most likely anyway. Rush. Oh, the Goten switch. So he's going to pop his effect here. Yeah, put me down. Strike, strike, strike. Nice. Oh, the green, not the green. Okay. Whoop. Go, thank you, sir. Go, thank you, sir. Go, thank you, sir. Go, thank you, sir. Crap. No. That's what happens when you sing, when you sing the opponent's theme song. That's what happens when you sing the opponent's theme song. Knock it off. Yamero! Knock it off. Yamero! Knock back, let's go! This match is gonna go to time at this rate. I gotta do more damage. I gotta sneak some damage off. Ooh, I didn't expect the tackle there. Damn it. I really did not expect the tackle. Damn it. Here's a strike, most likely. Uh. I'm gonna stay, I guess, because now he's willing to use the rush. The problem is, the rush now is gonna bring our damage close. Because it's gonna do so much damage, right? I gotta guess it, I gotta guess it, I gotta guess it. Damn it. Okay, I have to be hyper aggressive here because this, this rush is probably gonna cost me the match. Oh my god! Oh, 999? Really? 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 He clutched up like that? He got the clutch like that? 999 in the last 15 seconds of the freaking match? Are you joking right now? Are you kidding me? Give me a blue. Give me a blue. I don't know that. Can't hunt. Random card, right? doesn't really know that it matters. We don't have time. Ah! <laughs> no. No. The freaking rush beat me because it went through it. Mine didn't. Oh, my God. I got cheated. I got robbed. This damn match is rigged. You know what? You know what? I'm deleting this trash. I am deleting it. I am freaking deleting it. It's garbage. It's the worst game ever. I'm not going to delete it right now. I'll do it later. That's my but to Take my word for it. I still got Ninja Tribes on my tablet. I didn't even realize that. I'm lying. All right. So, <laughs> I, I'm going to just also say this. I lost that match because I didn't use the Vegeta main at the right time. So, moral of the story, Vegeta is a lot better. His damage is better. But you gotta use the main at the right time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Check out Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken here on the screen.